Hello world, this is WhatsApp290, and today I'm going to be showing you how to bypass internet filters at your work, college, school, hotel, internet cafe uh, network. So the best way to do this without question is by using what's called the Tor browser. Now, before you click away going, oh, well, you know, I've already tried to use the Tor browser and it doesn't Tor and it doesn't work. Uh, bear with me and try it again because with the newer versions of the Tor browser, they've actually made it DPI proof and everything. Um, that and also what's great about this browser is that it's designed to bypass IP bands, firewalls, port blocking and all that. This is the same program that like the people in China used to bypass like the Chinese government firewall and what, pe what people in most... Uh, Censored, censored countries use to bypass their government firewall. So um, just go to this uh, link in the description and they have the downloads for all the different languages, all the different operating systems. Um, I'm going to, so yeah, just select your operating system and language here. And uh, once you've downloaded it, um, you if you're on a Windows, you'll get a like a classic a Windows installer, and that's where you choose whether you want to install it to like a USB drive or a um, a uh, or your own personal computer or wherever you wherever you want to install it to, and um, on a Mac you'll get a window that looks like this when you open the DMG file. Um, now basically. If if you want to, if you're using your school, college, office, security system, computers, you're at a big disadvantage there. You should not install anything onto their um, onto their system, and you should you shouldn't use it at all, if possible, to avoid because they can trace your keystrokes. They can easily find out what you've been doing, what programs you've had open, and everything, and you can get in a lot of trouble if, if you if you have an unauthorized program opened. However, like if you're using your personal computer, um, well, that's your property, so they can't really get you in trouble. You they can't really get they can't really like get mad at you for like what software you have on your own personal device. So once you've downloaded the the Tor browser, open it. And uh, once you open it, you'll get a, um, a window that looks like this. So, yeah, there's two options here. You, you can connect directly to the Tor network. You should try clicking this one first. Um, if, and if uh, your school or college or office is internet security, whatever, internet security, or wherever you are trying to bypass blocks, isn't that good. It could work um, if the, it, it'll open like a little progress bar that'll say like it's connecting to the Tor network, please accept, or it'll say like, please wait while we establish a connection to the Tor network. And if that progress bar completes and it loads, and it'll load up a window that'll say like, congratulations, you're using Tor. Um, then you're good to go. But if the uh, internet network security at wherever you're trying to bypass filters is like really good, you know, a lot of times they'll have like proxy servers, they'll have like um, IP bands and all that. You'll pro you might have to try to go to this one and click configure. Does this computer need a proxy to access the internet? Um, how you can find out if your computer is using a proxy? Well, you should know because if you're using your own personal computer, um, you sh you should have ha you will have had to enter that those proxy settings in your net in your airport settings to um, be able to access the network there at all. But how you can look them up is you just go to airport, open network preferences, and then click on advanced, and then go to proxies. And uh, select uh, whichever one is whichever one is highlighted. You select that one, and uh, 
you basically just select yes if you do have a proxy server highlight it here and click continue and click on proxy type it'll probably be an HTTP or HTTPS proxy in which case you just go back to here and select HTTP or HTTPS proxy and uh, you know you upload you select that you select that respective one down here and uh, then you just enter whatever code is in here you enter the code that's in this box into the address and then you enter the code that's right here into the port and then you enter the username the proxy username and password right here so you should know what those are because you will have had to enter those two to get on the network at all so yeah once you've done that you would just click continue but I'm gonna go back and select no because neither my college nor my um, the network I'm on right now have a proxy server um, I use this I can just co connect directly when I'm even when I'm at when I'm at college because at my college they do block a few websites but not very many but whatever I do want to access one of the very few websites they block I can just uh, connect directly and it works because their security isn't very good Whereas at like my old high school, they blocked like everything. They blocked VPNs. They they had proxy servers. They blocked proxy sites. Um. So yeah, I I, I can figure. I had to go into the configure things, into the configure settings like what we're doing. So yeah, they block like every single website. Uh, they block like every single thing you could think of back there. So um, depend whether what you'll have to do in the settings to basically depends on how strict your wherever you're trying to bypass internet filters at security is. So once you're done here, just click continue, and it'll say, "Does your internet service provider block connections to Tor?" Now, you sh again, you should try selecting no and clicking connect. And if the progress bar makes it all the way and it opens up the window where it says congratulations, you're using Tor, then you're good to go. But if again, if it does, um, like uh, just if the progress, if you select no and connect and the progress bar only makes it like part way and then it just freezes and it says like can't connect to, and it might say like can't connect to host or something. Well, that means that uh, um, you're, your uh, i your IT guy is like super smart, and he's blocked all the uh, the IP addresses that the Tor browser will connect to by default. So, and if that happens, select yes and continue. And it has, and basically what this does is it is it uh, enables you to use bridges. Now, basically, bridges are basically or I was about to say basically twice. They're uh, hidden Tor entry servers that are Tor entry servers that aren't in the main Tor directory list. So even if wherever you're trying to bypass internet filters at has blocked all the default Tor servers, they probably won't have blocked every single bridge you can get. So here's this one. Connect with provided bridges. It has built in bridges. Um, Basically, and you select this one, basically what all these are right here is they're basically, uh, sorry, I was about to do that again, is um, they're bridges that look different on the network, which will, did, which may or may not fool your, um, your uh, the, um, the network sensors at wherever you're trying to bypass filters at. Try connecting this one. Try connecting through this one, and uh, if it doesn't, if it doesn't work, if it if the progress bar just hangs, come back and try one of these until you find one that works. And if none of them work, uh, well, that means that like they're really really strict, and anal and smart, and they've blocked all of them. So what you can do in that case, and you can, is enter custom bridges. Now there's two ways to get these. 
you have to either go to the uh, the website right here and basically enter once you enter the catchpa this link will be in the description it'll give you bridges the other way to do it is through email now you have to have either a gmail or a yahoo mail account to get to get these bridges if you block if you have anything else besides Gmail or Yahoo Mail, it's not going to work. So once you've got a Gmail or Yahoo Mail account that you can use open, you just um, open up a new email, address it to bridges at torproject.org, and then type get transport OBFS3, and then send it. And... Um, Within like five minutes tops, it should email you back with some custom bridges. And once you get the bridges, you just enter the codes that will be in the email that it sends you in here. And then click connect. And it should, and uh, it will connect to Tor via that, via those uh, bridges. So, yeah, I'm just going to go back because Tor, Tor isn't blocked at either my, uh, um, my school or my uh, my home network so I can just go back and connect directly and uh, I'll show you an example so once it op so yeah once you've opened uh, this successfully gotten to this window right here while well, you're done you can basically access any block site any website you want through this window even if the site is blocked I'll show you an example I've installed a simple web filter on my um, on my home computer right here, um, because you know most of the time, you know schools and offices they'll have like social media websites blocked, they'll have like YouTube blocked, and all those things. So I've I'm gonna try to get on YouTube. And it's not going to work because I've set the uh, the website blocker uh, on my internet to, to block YouTube. And I've also set it to block Facebook. So, yeah. But now I'm going to try going to it through this browser. And I'm going to try to go to YouTube.com. YouTube. And as you can see in the Tor browser, it works. However, if I try going to, you, to YouTube again, it's going to get blocked. And uh, I've also blocked, see, and I've also blocked Facebook on my normal web browser. But if I try to go to Facebook in the Tor browser, It works now. The Tor browser is a bit slower than a normal internet because uh, um, you know it's basically redirecting your traffic through a whole bunch of different proxy servers and everything. And uh, one one more time, and uh, it also the Tor browser, you know, it hides your IP address and everything. So I'll show you that if I go to. ipaddress.org it says it can't find my location and uh, you can also look up what and uh, you can also look up your uh, current IP address with the Tor browser by doing this it changes it every few minutes so um, can't talk no this web the websites cannot tell where I live or where I am so that is basically how you bypass how you access blocked websites so I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is WhatsApp290, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day.